Hi everyone, I'm Justin, and welcome to another episode of Zen How. I'm a photographer, and this is my studio, where I normally do my shoots. For my daily jobs, I use my Procrimin, but I won't be needing it today. That's because I've got my hands on this. It's Asus' brand new Zenfone 5. Apart from great specs and all-screen display, this phone features something new to smartphones. It's called AI scene detection technology. This means the camera can recognize up to 16 different scene categories automatically and adjust the settings to get the best results for whatever you might be shooting every time. I love my DSLR, of course, but I want to test out the Zenfone 5's camera to see if it can become my all-around shooting companion when I'm out and don't want to lug the extra weight of my pro gear. Normally, when I'm taking shots of a person, I need to set my camera to a wide aperture and change to a longer focal length lens. This softens and blurs distracting backgrounds and makes the subject stand out. But now, I can just point the Zenfone 5 at my subject, it recognizes that we're taking a picture of a person, and adjust the aperture, ISO, and shutter speed all on its own. This all-screen display really lets you enjoy your photographic masterpieces. And while we were talking about the screen, the Zenfone 5 not only has a facial recognition unlock feature, but also has a fingerprint sensor on the back for twice the convenience. Okay, I want to see what else we can find here to put the AI camera to the test. Look who's here! This is Wadza. He's a little camera shy, and that's one of the challenges with pet photography. Animals are always moving and almost never stay calm. To deal with this, I have to change my camera to a faster shutter speed. This helps freeze the subject and avoid getting blurry photos. Changing my shutter speed means that I also have to change my aperture and ISO to balance my exposure. Let's see if the Zenfone 5 can handle all this for me. And the best part is, from time to time the camera will give me two versions of the photo with different settings. These will pop up randomly after I take the pics, I choose the one I like best, and the camera learns my preferences for future shots. This is the AI learning feature. This is some food that I was shooting earlier today. For food shots, I have to make sure that I shoot the image so that it's soft and bright, which makes the food look very appealing. When framing the image, it's nice to keep a wider crop and play off of the negative space, which creates a nice atmosphere. The framing is up to me, but AI will take care of improving the color saturation and temperature. We've got great weather today. How about a sky shot? For these shots, I have to dial down my aperture and increase my shutter speed to capture the deep blues and the variation of tones in the clouds. And I usually still have to do adjustments on my computer to bring back detail in the highlights. But see, Zenfone's AI camera does all of that with just one press of the shutter. Hey, before we wrap it up today, let's do a little experiment. One of the 16 scene settings is cats. Can the Zenfone 5 actually tell the difference between cats and dogs? Where's the cat? Hey, Zoe, where's your cat? Why am I not surprised? Of course I can recognize cats. So here we have the Zenfone 5's camera that can recognize up to 16 different scene categories. It can tell the difference between cats and dogs and it's certainly going to become my new all-around pocket camera. And that's it for today. Don't forget to leave us a like and a comment below. We'll see you next time.